There's no place on Earth quite like Dubai, the hub of futuristic architecture and revolutionary technology and a playground for creating the tallest, most luxurious skyscrapers that we've ever seen. The ultra-modern metropolis already has an endless list of world-renowned landmarks, but there's a group of exceedingly impressive projects currently in production. A trip to Dubai is like stepping into the future, and we're about to show you exactly why. It's not nicknamed the City of Gold for no reason. Aside from literally being able to withdraw bricks of gold from ATMs, Dubai is one of the wealthiest cities on Earth, and they sure know how to put their money to good use. Soaring above the cloud line is the undisputed icon of the city, the world's tallest skyscraper, the Burj Khalifa. With 163 floors ascending a startling 828 meters, or 2,716 feet, this colossal structure is easily the tallest building ever made. It's held that title since opening on January 9, 2010. That's not its only claim to fame, though. It also has the elevator with the longest travel distance, the most stories of any building, the highest occupied floor in the world, and the highest outdoor observation deck. Take a look at it next to the Shanghai Tower, which at 2,073 feet is the second tallest building standing today, the Empire State Building, which comes in at 1,554 feet, and the London Eye at 443 feet. Side by side, it's easy to understand how this mammoth of a project cost the city of Dubai a whopping $1.5 billion. Just because the Burj Khalifa is the current tallest building, that doesn't mean that it will be forever. In fact, Saudi Arabia has already got a mega project of its own ready to overtake it. Soon to eclipse the Burj Khalifa is the Jeddah Tower, which is due to open in 2020 and will scrape the sky at exactly one kilometer above the ground. That's 3,280 feet. Dubai saw what Saudi Arabia had in store and, not wanting to fall to second place, put together plans of yet another megastructure that would trump it. With a projected cost of around 3.67 billion AED, close to a billion US dollars, the Dubai Creek Tower will soon break all kinds of records. How tall are we talking exactly? Well, that's yet to be disclosed. At the moment, the development company Emar Properties is keeping the exact height of the tower under wraps. That said, it's estimated to reach around 1,300 meters while styled after an Arabic minaret and resembling a blossoming lily flower. Construction on the eccentric monolith began back in October of 2016 and is scheduled to be finished at some stage in 2020, opening to the public in 2021. It's touted to have up to 10 viewing platforms, some of which will rotate, along with luxury residences, offices, restaurants, and sky gardens inspired by the Hanging Gardens of Babylon. The builders aren't just slapping it in the middle of downtown, though. They're actually creating an entirely new neighborhood called Dubai Creek Harbor, of which the tower will be the illustrious centerpiece. The area is promoted to being able to accommodate close to 470,000 people when finished. Have you ever thought that skyscrapers are just a tad too boring, too repetitive? Well, the futuristic minds of Dubai have one heck of a mega project in store to change that. Get ready, because in 2020, we will see the world's first 80-story, 420-meter-tall dynamic tower. In other words, it's a fully rotating skyscraper. And when all is said and done, it's set to cost just over 1.2 billion US dollars. Construction hasn't been easy, though. It's been a long journey for the Dynamic Tower Hotel, also known as the Da Vinci Tower, with planning starting way back in 2008. The highlight of this new-aged building is the rotating floors, which take about 90 minutes to complete a 360-degree circle. You'll need between $4 million and $40 million to buy a floor or an apartment when they go to sale, depending on how high in the building they sit. Best of all, residents will be able to control the rotation speed and direction of their individual luxury apartment. So if you want to catch the sunrise, just rotate your apartment 90 degrees to the left. Or feel like making your acrophobic guests dizzy? Just turn the speed up to max. Aside from this never-before-seen feature, the tower will be the world's first prefabricated skyscraper. In other words, every individual rotating piece or every floor can be built in a factory and then shipped to the construction site to be attached to the central cylinder. This means that construction can be up to 30% quicker than regular skyscrapers. Could this be the future of architecture and construction? In case you haven't noticed, Dubai clearly has a love for any and all things futuristic. That's why they've gone ahead and developed another amazing mega-project, the so-called Museum of the Future. With a projected cost of 499 million AED, or about 109 million USD, the innovative Dubai landmark will be one of the most expensive of its kind ever made. On the outside, it will resemble the shape of an eye. 
which is supposed to relate to ideas of perception and knowledge. On the inside, it will show off the most impressive feats of human creativity and technology, with more robots on hand than we'd ever need. The museum will showcase three main themes. One, the relationship between robots and humans. Two, how robots and AI can improve human capabilities. And three, how AI will affect how humans make decisions in the future. Like many other of the spectacular projects mentioned today, the Museum of the Future is scheduled to be completed in time for the Dubai 2020 Expo in October. Cities are known to take expos very seriously, having built some of the most iconic landmarks on Earth in preparation for their own. The Eiffel Tower in Paris, the Space Needle in Seattle, and the Atomium in Brussels, to name a few. Next up, we've got one of Dubai's most famous long-standing icons, the Burj Al Arab, better known unofficially as the world's first seven-star hotel. As one of the city's first mega-projects, the Burj Al Arab was completed over two decades ago, in 1999. Despite that, however, it still remains a symbol of ultimate luxury. The unique building sits on its very own man-made island and is shaped like a sail. At the time, it cost around 1 billion US dollars to construct, largely due to the immense work needed to secure foundations in the sand below. If you feel like renting out one of the 202 rooms on offer, you'll need to fork out at least 2,000 bucks a night. And that's just for the cheap rooms. Pfft, chump change, right? Then why not stay in the outrageously lavish royal suite? As a room truly fit for a king, it'll set you back a whopping 24 grand per night. At least you'll get to play on one of the provided 24 karat gold iPads. We've heard of the Hyperloop before, right? If you haven't, it's essentially an ultra-high-speed train capable of connecting Dubai and Abu Dhabi in 12 minutes. That's close to seven times faster than highway driving. Fast train? Eh, big deal, we've seen it before. But wait till you hear what Dubai has in store next for transport. Dubai to Abu Dhabi is one thing, but how about Dubai to India? In just two hours, the proposed underwater train could connect the city of gold to Mumbai via Fujairah, joining two nations which are close to 2,000 kilometers apart, about 1,200 miles in just two hours. But how would it all work? Surely you can't build a tunnel that long. According to a video released by the UAE's National Advisor Bureau Limited, the underwater journey would be within a long tube floating just beneath the surface of the Arabian Sea. It wouldn't be concreted to the ocean floor, it would simply float there, suspended and held in place by a network of floating rigs. Would you be brave enough to book a ticket on a floating underwater train? For another out-of-this-world Dubai creation, let's take a look at Aladdin City an incredible tourism-oriented project due to open in the not-too-distant future. The eye-catching development will span 1,500 feet, about 450 meters, along Dubai Creek, encompassing close to 4,000 acres all told. Aladdin City will feature three large towers, each inspired by the tales of Aladdin and the Arabian Nights. The towers, which will be up to 34 stories high, will house offices, hotels, and rooms for close to 900 cars. Most importantly, they'll resemble giant genie lamps, while being connected by stunning, golden, air-conditioned bridges and walkways. So how much does it cost to build something that stands out from a city renowned for standing out? About $500 million. Okay, so moving on, what's one of the first images that comes into your mind when someone says Dubai? Seriously, let us know down in the comments. For the majority of the people, it's the captivating man-made islands. Whether you picture the world map or the palm tree, the artificial sands are iconic. The palm tree, also known as the Palm Jumeirah, welcomed its first residents in 2007 and was built entirely from sand and rocks. Trust us, the cost of transporting all of that material from coasts and quarries didn't come cheap. Any guesses? All up, the city forked out $12 billion. And that doesn't even include the $1.5 billion Atlantis Hotel Resort, which has its own water park and underwater aquarium. The world map, on the other hand, has suffered a few setbacks, the most pressing of which was the suspending of production in 2009 due to the global financial crisis. Nowadays, unfortunately, because of weathering, partial sinking, and erosion, the world islands have lost their well-defined borders. Look at Central America, it's practically non-existent. Alas, Dubai doesn't give up. They've pitched a brand new idea for a man-made island, the Jumeirah Bay Island, shaped like a seahorse. The seahorse sped past the world map in production and is already open to the public, housing a yacht club, apartment buildings, and a 100-room, five-star luxury Bulgari hotel. If you can't hop in a helicopter and check it out from above, then one of the best ways to see the island 
and everything we've spoken of so far is through the 150-meter-tall Dubai frame. Located in Zabil Park, the 62 million US dollar structure is one of the newest additions to the world-famous skyline. We all know that Dubai is a city with a unique mesh of old and new, and the Dubai frame showcases exactly that. Visitors who peer from one side can see the futuristic metropolis, while those who stand on the other can peek out at the older, more traditional neighborhoods. It's one of Dubai's more subtle mega-projects, but it's amazing nonetheless. Where does all this money come from? Some of it stems from the ultra-rich Dubai royal family. Why not see how they spend their billions? Or if you haven't quenched your thirst for new technology, check out 15 weird inventions that made people extremely rich. That's all for this one. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.